Hi everybody! The Laffer Curve idea is a fantastic argument to bring in to your writing whenever you're questioning whether an increase in tax rates like income tax will always translate into higher tax revenue collected by the government. Arthur Laffer, an American economist, said that yeah, by increasing taxes like income tax, tax revenue collected can increase and that extra tax revenue can then be used to help redistribute income and wealth, can be used to uh, help fund essential public services in the economy, to do all these great things, but only up until a point. Arthur Laffer said that as soon as taxes start to increase beyond a point, beyond what he called an efficient tax rate, the amount of tax revenue collected by the government will start to decrease. So by mapping the relationship between tax rates and tax revenue collected, Arthur Laffer came to this conclusion. This diagrammatically is what Arthur Laffer said. And he said that there comes a point where the government reaches an efficient tax rate. And at that tax rate, the government is maximizing the tax revenue collected by that tax. And on this diagram, that occurs when the tax revenue collected is at its maximum. The efficient tax rate is T. So what we've just drawn here is our Laffer curve. Right there. So the two things in red explain what this Laffer curve shows. And Laffer said that before the efficient tax rate at T, if the government increases taxes, let's keep it simple and say this is income tax right now. If the government increases income tax, then yes, the government is going to see an increase in tax revenue collected. They can do whatever they want with that money. Fantastic news. But Laffer says, hang on, only up until a point, only up until T, beyond a tax rate of T, if the government increases taxes, tax revenue is actually going to decrease. And he argues that it's going to decrease for three reasons beyond the efficient tax rate. One reason is because of the disincentives that higher tax rates bring. So a very, very high income tax rate on the rich, for example, will disincentivize working really, really hard. It will disincentivize being entrepreneurial. In fact, workers may start to substitute their work for leisure instead, realizing that working extra hours or working hard is pointless, considering how much that income is being taxed away. So the end result is that those workers at the higher end of the income spectrum will work less now. What's the point in working more or working at a certain level if so much of that income is going to be taxed away? They work less. Entrepreneurs take less risks. They don't want to make as much profit anymore. They don't take the gambles to make higher profit, knowing that a lot of the income is going to be taxed away. So you disincentivize working. You disincentivize higher productivity. And the end result is lower tax revenue being collected, as these guys are working less now. Another strong argument is the emigration that comes from setting tax rates so, so high. If income taxes are really high, What's the incentive for the highly skilled workers, for the best entrepreneurs, to stay in your country? Well, if tax rates are lower in other economies, all you're going to do is incentivize them to leave your country, to emigrate. So Laffer argues the higher your tax rate is beyond the efficient tax level, the more you incentivize highly skilled emigration. And a lot of these guys are actually the biggest providers, the biggest taxpayers to the government. So if you get rid of those guys, you're going to see a big, big fall in your tax take as the government. So this is a very damaging thing to the overall level of tax revenue collection. If you incentivize, if you push basically your highest income earners, your most productive workers, your best entrepreneurs to leave your country because you've taxed too high. Laffer also argues that the higher your tax rate, the more you're going to promote activities such as tax evasion and tax avoidance, which will reduce the overall tax take to the government the overall tax revenue collected by the government. Tax evasion is simply not declaring all of your income, and that is illegal. That means obviously you're not going to pay as much tax. Uh, that is illegal, whereas tax avoidance is legal. Tax avoidance is finding loopholes in the tax system, whereby you don't pay as much tax as you would otherwise. So tax avoidance is legal, tax evasion is illegal. It doesn't matter which one is done, both will reduce the amount of tax revenue collected by the government. Both is not good for the government in terms of the amount of tax revenue that comes into them. But that's what happens. You promote such activity when you, the government, tax too high. 
So Laffer says that these three arguments come to the fore when the government start to set taxes beyond an efficient tax level. That's when the amount of tax revenue collected by the government may actually start to, de to decrease. So when it comes to you writing your essays, anytime you're talking about governments raising taxes to collect more tax revenue, don't just say that that is guaranteed to happen. Use the Laffer curve argument to really critique that point, to critique that argument. Hopefully now that makes sense and you're really comfortable with the Laffer curve argument, very strong evaluation here. Thank you so much for watching guys, I'll see you all in the next video.